Minecraft Hardcore Worlds offer a challenging way to enjoy the game. Limiting the Minecraft world to a specific biome adds even more challenge by restricting what resources the player has at their disposal. In today's challenge, we will be starting our adventure in Hardcore Minecraft, but the world is only desert. Let's get right into it. Whenever anyone decides to start a Minecraft world, they always have the same objective. Punching down a tree to get wood. The major challenge in this world should be noticed right from the start. There are no trees. Having no trees at my disposal means it's difficult, but not impossible, to even start the game. While I can punch dead bushes to get sticks, I can't get wood planks to break cobblestone to make stone tools. My best option is to find a village and hope they have a blacksmith with some smelted iron or a pickaxe in one of their chests. I should also steer clear of any desert temples I find, as I do not want any mobs spawning at the bottom and setting off the DNT. I want the items at the bottom, especially the chests, since I will need them to store any items in my base. This is going to be a real challenge. Since I was lucky enough to find sugarcane next to some water early on, I should focus on finding my first village. Seeing as once I die, it's all over, my first priority should be getting my hands on the bed to prevent mobs from spawning. Since dying is inevitable in a hardcore world, everyone guess what my death message will be down in the comments section below. Finding death messages will get hearts on them, as, and the first person to guess the correct death message will have their comment featured in the last video of this world. Go ahead and take your guesses. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Now that I've found a village, it will be best to grab some seeds to be able to grow food once I start to set up my base. I'll grab different kinds if I can, except beetroot because beets are nasty. They literally taste like dirt, so I'll take a hard pass on those. I'll grab some hay bales while I'm here too. This way I can break them down as necessary to make bread. Great. I found a bed and a workbench. Oh, and I'll, I took the chest too. I'll need it to store any items since wood planks will be super rare. I just gotta explore all these houses to see if there are any other interesting villagers with jobs that will provide me with some good trades. I was hoping for a farmer that I could scam by selling him his own wheat to get emeralds, but unfortunately there weren't any. Rather than break all these bookshelves, I'll only break one for now, just so I can have a book to craft an enchantment table later on. I can always come back once I get a silk touch axe to break these bookshelves. Again, I don't want to break them without silk touch, because since wood planks are so rare in this world, I won't be able to craft any myself. If I'm super lucky, I might find a river with a tree next to it, but I won't count on it. At least once I get a pickaxe and some torches, I'll be able to explore the desert temples and raid them for their loot. I'll be able to get some apples and even some golden apples that way, so it's an excellent thing to do. We all know how important golden apples are in these hardcore worlds. They can literally save you from the verge of death. If I'm lucky and I find some melon seeds, I might start a melon farm as well to make some glistening melons. Well, I'll just have to wait and see what happens. Finally, I found the village with the blacksmith, but seeing as the sun is finally setting on my first day in this hardcore world, I might as well use my bed as a sleeping bag of sorts just to pass the night. Not only do I not want mobs spawning, if I'm too close to a village, I don't want it getting destroyed either before I can see their trade options. Alright, I have enough iron now to finally craft a pickaxe, so I'll do that in a moment. If the blacksmith has some good trade options, I should take advantage of that first. Well, I got myself an axe too, which is helpful since I prefer using an axe as a weapon instead of a sword. The axe just has such, so much better accuracy compared to the sword, I'd rather just use that. Because I know everyone else uses swords, I'll craft one anyways. Everyone down in the comments section, go ahead and tell me to craft a sword anyways. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I haven't found anything else too useful in this village. I grab some more hay balls for good measure, and it's time to head out and keep exploring. I think the next thing to do would be to do some mining and try to find some more iron and gold. 
I'll need torches before I can raid any desert temples, and I'd like to get some iron armor soon too, just in case. You can never be too careful in a hardcore Minecraft world. It looks like digging down to try and find some coal didn't work out. I was hoping I would find some before it was dark enough in the mine for mobs to spawn, but seeing as I can't see what I'm mining, I better not. I know I saw a couple ravines earlier. If there's some water on the bottom of one, I think it would be best to hop down and see what it's got. I've never seen a ravine that didn't have at least one coal ore block in it somewhere. We've had a good start to this world so far. I was surprised I found the village as fast as I did. When I first started the hardcore ocean world, I died five separate times before starting the world you all saw. I starved before I could even get iron due to getting attacked by drowns and trying to catch fish. At least in this world, wheat is so readily available in the villages. Before they added the hay bales, I would have had to kill the rabbits and seeing as they are hard to catch, they really aren't a good food source option. I tend to waste more hunger than I earn when killing them. I've seen a few lava lakes already, which is nice. I won't have to dig all the way down just to get some obsidian for an enchantment table and nether portal. I'll have to do that once I have enough diamonds for a diamond pickaxe. Now that day 2 is over in this world, I can explore some more and gather as many resources as I can. I'll just raid this village right here for some more food and emeralds and then I'll be back on my way. It's a shame they didn't have too much valuable loot for me. Oh well, I'll head back in search of a ravine. I should really start breaking some more bushes. I'm going to need way more sticks than what I have. I'll need at least 16 for one stack of torches, so I might as well load up while I'm exploring. I'll have destroyed all the ones near where I will be setting up my base in no time, so I'd rather get them now to preserve what I can for later. I'm just stopping to check out these caves real fast for some surface coal. I know it's dangerous since mobs can spawn there or even be waiting for me, but I need to get a move on with this world. I only allot so much time during the day to record and edit these videos to be able to get them out on time. I am aiming to release two of these per week, so I'll take this chance to remind everybody watching to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell if you haven't already. Subscribing helps grow my channel and lets YouTube promote my content more. Seeing as I put a lot of time and effort into making this content, I would like to be able to do this full time. I've been down on my luck financially for years, so making this channel successful will be the miracle I really need. Finally, I found a ravine. It looks like it's loaded with coal and iron, which is great, so I'll stock up on as much as possible. I'll craft a furnace too, so I can get some of that cooking. And I'll, only, I'll only go with one furnace for now, until I can head back and set up my base. I'm thinking I'll make my build it spawn. This way, when I go out exploring for more resources, I can use a compass to find my way home. It's little tricks like these that are super helpful in Minecraft hardcore worlds. In normal Minecraft, if you get hopelessly lost, it's not the end of the world. You can just save your coordinates on the F3 menu, chest up your items, and purposely kill yourself in game. Provided you use the bed back at your base, you'll respawn there and you can just travel back to the chest and get your stuff back. In hardcore worlds, if you die, it's all over. You don't have that luxury. Alright, I've got some torches, some iron, and I've crafted my compass to be able to find my way back to spawn. While I make my way back to spawn to get started on the base build, I'll raid any desert temples I find. They will be an invaluable resource of bones, string, TNT, golden apples, chest, and even some enchanted books if I'm lucky. I know I passed at least two or three on the way here, so maybe I'll see some more on my way back. As I make my way down into the temples, I have to be super careful. I need to get the inside lit up as soon as possible to prevent mobs from spawning, and I have to make sure I don't step on the pressure plate as well. I don't care how good someone thinks they are at Minecraft Parkour, once you step on that pressure plate, there's no avoiding the oncoming TNT explosion. While I'm sure everyone will tell me how wrong I am about that in the comment section, so regardless of what you think, go ahead and comment Get Good Dad down below. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. It looks like I've gained some good loot. I can use the bones to grow some wheat, and if I'm super lucky, 
I'll find an enderman holding a grass block. If I do, I can make a nice oasis and use the bone meal to generate grass and flowers. I have some cool designs in mind for the base. I was thinking of building a castle with a garden slash oasis in the middle, and probably some tall towers to go with it. Seeing as I won't have recorded that part of this world by the time this video comes out, I'll be sure to get everyone's input on it. That's the beauty of base building. If we take some input from some other people, you can get some great ideas you wouldn't have thought of otherwise all by yourself. Now that I've made it back to spawn, it's just about time to end the episode. I found a ton of amazing items today, and even a mending book, so this world looks like it will be a lot of fun. There's no telling what this world will have in store for us, but I plan on surviving and building upon everything until I'm satisfied. Well, that's it for today's episode. Just a quick reminder to everyone, if you haven't yet liked the video and subscribed, please go ahead and do so. The more likes the video receives, the more people will watch it, and the bigger and better the channel will grow. Looking at all the analytics data and new subscribers is really motivating, and helps keep me going and striving to improve. Well, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye now.